Hello everyone, this is a video to show off my cool new shell script that I've written. Um, it's a program that allows you to search the web browser Cirx, that's, which is a, you know, uh, it's a self-hosted if you want to, there are some public instances, but it's a hostable, um, a very private search engine, it's one of the best of the best when it comes to privacy. Anyway, this program allows you to use D-Menu or Vofi, normally application uh, launches or switches, but they can also be used as menu applications. So, uh, I originally developed this for the web browser Surf, because Surf, if I bring this right up here, uh, let's go to google.com. Yeah, Surf is a very nice, very minimal uh, web browser, but the problem is it's not that fast when it comes to loading web pages. So. And uh, I do like myself a good fast web browser. So for example, if I wanted to search up YouTube here, it takes a while to load up the web page, and it'll take a while to load up some of the results. Not too long, but we can, uh, especially because I have quite a fast system and quite a fast internet connection. I'm running Ethernet right now. What my program does is it allows you to skip out the whole part of going to a web browser. It might not be Google, it might be a it is Cirque that I, I normally go to, um, but it allows you to skip out all of that and just do it from the desktop. So if I was to open up the file here, we see there's a few variables up here and the script here. If I just zoom out quickly, you can see that the script itself is not actually that long. It's quite a compact script. Um, lots of this is also just uh, comments, as you can see, especially up here. Oh, I should probably delete this line here. That's not supposed to be in it here. Just looks a bit nicer with that gone. Anyway, uh, I have it set up for D menu, but you can easily uncomment this line if you want to use Rofi. Uh, I have the web browser set up as Surf, but I could switch it to any other web browser if you wanted. Cute browser, Brave, Firefox. The program doesn't actually come with a pre set up Cirx instance. It's a uh, it's recommended that you pick one that you commonly use, or that's your own. If I open up surf and go to cirx.me, which is the cirx browser's uh, home web page, you can view a list of public instances. Let's just, for the sake of this video, let's just pick Luke Smith's instance. He's another Linux YouTuber. He has a public instance. Let's do lukesmith.xyz. We can write and quit out of this. And if I bring up the um, the program which I've mapped to super plus u, I can search for something, for example, duck, I want a duck picture, I want the duck wikipedia page, search for that, oh it brings up the little menu here, Let, yeah, let's go to wikipedia.org slash wiki slash duck, we have, a duck, we have the duck wikipedia page, very nice, let's bring this over to a uh, different workspace, and let's search for something else, let's search for duck again, but this time let's pick duckduckgo.com quite nice. <laughs> I'm going to search for Goose this time. Let's see. Mm, yes, the Wikipedia page for Goose. You can see it's, uh, this is what Surf's good for. It's uh, very minimal, obviously, so no tab, buttons, whatever. You, It's quite easy to have a bunch of different pages open like this and still be still have enough screen real estate to use them. And we can also change our notifier. So, for example, I use no I use Dunst, which is just uh, in order to send a notification for that, you can just write notify send, write and quit out of this, put up the application again. This time, I'm going to search for duck again. But this time, instead of actually going to a web page, I can just press escape, and it'll tell me in the top uh, left right hand corner over here that there's an invalid URL. Same if I was just to not if I was just to escape out of this or say invalid search. The way it works is it is it uses Cirque's J built-in JSON um, function, function, I guess. So if I pull up my normal web browser, so Brave, what we can do is if we head over to Luke Smith's uh, Cirque instance, dot .xyz slash search, question mark Q, which stands for query, equals duck. And if you wanted, we can do uh, plus for space, duck, duck, space, go. It's the equivalent of searching for DuckDuckGo. What we can also do is we can also put Amstersand format equals JSON, and we get the JSON, uh, we, or we get the results formatted in the JSON file. And what we can do is we can 
part, uh, we can put that pipe it into JQ, which is a really good program for JSON uh, processing. And out of that, we can pull every search result. Um, I have it save into a text file under slash TMP, slash TMP slash menu search. And what that will, what that ha what happen ends up happening is if I search for duck here, I can uh, go through this, but it's, I don't know if we can see it here, but look, links.txt, if I open up in possibly the worst program I could have opened up in LibreOffice Writer, anyway, it has all the links of the results. Uh, DuckDuckGo, wikipedia.org, slash duck, you know, the main web's the dictionary results for duck, and it has results.json, which was the original file, which was passed using jq into links.txt. We then feed dmenu links.txt, and dmenu shows it up, and we, it allows the user to select through it. So we just open up the web browser over here, and we put the URL into the web browser in order to bring up Surf. Or, if I wanted to, I could change my browser to Brave, and then search for Duck, the Wikipedia page for Duck, and pull it up in Brave, which happens to be on uh, this workspace. Um, if this script is open on my GitHub, I'll probably be making a couple of improvement comments, comments to it. If you want to uh, get it, just go there. It's literally only one shelf uh, script. You can download it pretty easily. It works very nicely. It's quite useful. Link should be in the description. Nice seeing you.